I'm going to read you a story I wrote titled The Mean Baker. Some of the words are missing and you have to decide which word is correct. At each space you will have 10 seconds to decide and then you will have a hint and another 10 seconds. Then you have to choose. The Mean Baker There was once a baker who was so mean that nobody liked to visit her bakery. But she baked the best bread in the city. Her bread was so good that people put up with her bad temper and her nasty assistant who liked to make fun of how ugly he thought the children of the city were. They had arrived a few years before with a secret recipe that only the baker knew. If only we knew her secret recipe, the people of the city said. Then we could open a new bakery with a nice person and we wouldn't have to deal with her again. But the baker was clever. She knew the people talked about her, and she knew they didn't like her. She didn't like them either. And one day she went to the city council and spoke with the mayor and all the other council members. You don't like me and I don't like you, she said. She stood in the middle of the room with her hands on her hips and her feet spread apart. She looked as unpleasant as she sounded, and the other people in the room their noses when she spoke, as if the words that came from her mouth smelled. I plan to bake bread in this city for another 30 years, and only then will I retire. Only after I retire will I leave this city and all of you horrible people behind. The council members groaned. They had already known she would be around for a long time, but when she said it out loud, 30 years sounded like an eternity. Many of the council members were old already, and they dreaded the thought of having to live the rest of their lives buying bread from the terrible, mean woman. But if everybody in the city pays me all the money I would earn over the next 30 years now, I'll retire immediately. Leave the city and never come back. I'll give you my secret recipe, and you can bake the bread yourselves. The council members sat up in their chairs and chattered loudly. That's a great idea, one said, an old man with white hair and whiskers coming out of his ears. You must agree to that, Mayor, another said, a middle-aged lady with glasses that slid halfway down her long nose. The mayor stood up and raised his hands. One by one, the council members were silent. How much money do you want? The mayor said. I will earn exactly one million gold pieces over the next 30 years, the baker said. Therefore, I want one million gold pieces plus another half million for the secret recipe, which you will be able to use forever. We will ask the citizens of the city if they agree to your proposal, he said. Everybody in the city will vote on it. The baker left and the room became noisy again. What a stroke of good luck, the old man said. Yes, the mayor said. The citizens are bound to agree, but we cannot let the baker leave the city without first teaching her a lesson. She must learn that being mean does not pay. The mayor told the citizens of the city his plan, and everybody agreed that the mean baker needed to learn a lesson. They each willingly their share of the baker's one and a half million gold pieces, which the mayor promised them they would get back.
The next day, the mayor presented the money to the mean baker in a chest carried by two guards. Where is the secret recipe? The mayor said. The baker handed him a piece of paper, which he gave to one of the guards. The guard left at a running pace. His orders were to take the recipe to the new baker, who would begin to make the delicious bread immediately. The mean baker opened the chest and picked up some of the coins. She smiled at her good fortune. She said, Now I will fulfill my side of the bargain and leave, never to return to this appalling city and its disgusting people. Not so fast, said the mayor, stopping the baker as she tried to lift the chest of gold. He pulled a parchment and showed it to her. Last night, we created a new law. Any person who sells baking recipes must now pay a sales tax on the recipe. The baker looked at the parchment, and then at the mayor, and she snarled. How much is this tax? The tax, the mayor said, smiling at his own cleverness, is exactly one and a half million gold pieces. That's not fair, the baker said. It's the law the mayor said. Everybody must obey the law. The other guard dragged away the chest. It was too heavy for one person to carry. The mean baker laughed. I knew you wouldn't live up to your side of the bargain, she said. So I didn't live up to mine either. The recipe I gave you contains a mistake. You cannot bake my bread with it. Ha <laughs> ha! The mayor was so angry at being tricked that he ordered the guard to drop the chest and arrest the baker. They took her through the streets to the dungeons, and the mayor and all the citizens followed, so angry that they forgot all about the gold. When they were out of sight, a hooded figure appeared and dragged all the gold away. It took some time, being so heavy, but the whole city was by this time in such <laughs> that nobody noticed. You have broken the law, the mayor said to the baker while she sat in the dungeon. You said you would give us the secret recipe, but you lied. If you don't tell it to us now, we will execute you. The executioner was already preparing his axe, sharpening the blade with a stone. If I give you the recipe, will you let me go? The mean baker said. We will banish you from the city, the mayor said. You will leave here penniless, and you can never return. And if I don't give you the recipe? The executioner tested his swing by chopping a watermelon in two. He will do that to your neck, the mayor said. Very well, the baker said. I do not want to be poor, but I do not want to die either. She gave the mayor the secret recipe. We'll test it first before we let you go, he said, walking out of the dungeons. The mayor the recipe directly to the new baker, who, in a matter of hours, was able to confirm that it was the secret recipe. The bakery smelled wonderful, and the smell began to draw the people nearby out of their houses. They smiled when they saw the new friendly baker in place of the old mean one. 
The mayor ordered the mean baker to be taken to the city gates and thrown out, which he was. With the mean baker gone from the city once and for all, the mayor decided he could safely return the citizens' money to them. It was then that the mayor and the council discovered that the money had disappeared. They searched high and low for many weeks, but they never found it. Meanwhile, the mean baker had to spend half a day walking before she encountered the hooded figure on the road. It was her nasty assistant. That went exactly as planned, the baker said, smiling. Yes, agreed the assistant. Where to next? There is a city about two days travel from here, the baker said. I heard they are short on tasty bread. And so off they went, carrying the chest of gold between them. With so much of their money gone, the citizens could not afford very much and had to live off the bread. At first it was delicious, but the hardship and the fact that they had nothing else to eat soured the taste, and before long they hated the bread for which they had so dearly paid. The end. Thanks for watching. Click one of the videos to the left to watch another video or to watch this video again. Click subscribe so you can be one of the first people to watch the latest videos.